10 Nelson, your community access television. Programming on this channel is made by local volunteers. If you would like to be a part of your community television, please call 354-4200 or write to Shaw Cable, 613 Ward Street, Nelson, B1L1T2. I'm Deb Thomas, Chief Librarian of the Nelson Municipal Library. I've got three new books for you here today, and I also want to introduce you to our audio collection. I'll start out with the books. We've got a new book of uncollected stories by Marjorie Allingham. It's called The Return of Mr. Campion. Allingham was a British mystery writer, much admired by such illustrious peers as Agatha Christie, Alice Peters, and Ellery Queen. Queen said of her that she was without a doubt one of the most literate of contemporary English crime writers. I, who have never been a dyed-in-the-wool mystery fan, love her for just that reason. She writes beautifully and intelligently. These 13 stories and essays are no exception. I found myself savoring each colorful description and delighting them as if they were long-lost friends. To frame the stories, there is a tribute to Allingham by Agatha Christie and an illuminating introduction by noted British scholar and writer J.E. Morpurgo, who edited the collection. Next, we have a book by a local writer, The Horseman of Shandro Crossing. Castlegar author Yuri Kupchenko, better known to me as Jim Chapman, has written a unique and interesting book focusing on Ukrainian John Conopale, and I hope that's the way you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure and the settling of the Canadian prairies in the early 1900s. Kano Pale is like a hero of old, a born leader with a strong arm and a stronger sense of justice. The form the novel takes is almost more like a series of stories, chronological and connected, but still separate in themselves. The novel is rich with color and detail, painting a vivid picture of life among Ukrainian settlers on the prairies. And last, we have a book by Budge Wilson. Budge Wilson is a no Nova Scotian author She's better known for her children's and young adults books. She's put together here a collection of adult stories that are full of honesty, compassion, and plain good writing. Wilson has been compared to Alice Munro for her ability to go deeply into the truths in family relationships and in our own hearts. She reminds me of both Munro and of Margaret Lawrence in the way she vividly take, evokes a place and time and in her ability to convey a feeling of genuine warmth for her characters. An excellent book that I personally enjoyed. And this is my, my first time reading Budge Wilson. What we have here is a collection, an assortment of the kinds of audio, uh, audio items that we have in the library. The first one I have here is a, an audio book. It's a, a book on cassette tape that, uh, read by usually famous authors of one, one sort or another. Uh, this one is a children's one. It's called Ghostly Companions. And it's complete and unabridged. Many of them are abridged, actually. This one, for example, is not the complete book. If you were to have the complete book on here, it would take probably 12 cassettes. So this is an abridged version of Anne Rice's book, The Vampire Lestat. As well, we have nonfiction cassette books. This one is about selling, super service um, with Bill Gibson. So it's a it's a nonfiction cassette book for adults. We also have compact discs. Not everybody knows this because it's fairly new, fairly recent. I've just brought a selection of them. We have Duke Ellington, Tracy Chapman, and Sherry Ulrich here. We have lots more. Uh, it's not a huge collection yet, but we're working up to it. And uh, they're all uh, quite a variety of, of uh, genres of music. We have Western and rock and roll and jazz. 
And we also have cassette tapes, and I'm sure everyone knows we have cassette tapes because they've been there for quite a while. And uh, maybe they're not aware of the, of the range that we have there. We do have classical jazz, cassette, uh, sorry, classical jazz, folk, uh, rock and roll, children's. Here's a Sharon, Lois, and Bram. And uh, we're getting a bit more folk. Folk is a little harder to find, but we are getting a bit more folk in that collection as well. We'll soon be just replacing the record collection altogether. So that's it for today. Um, remember, don't judge a book by its cover, and I'll see you again in a month.